Hello everyone, welcome to Quantum Guruji. So today we are going to talk how to do homonomo calculation in Metal Studio and what is the significance of homonomo and homonomo gap. Okay, that we'll be talking in this video. Let's get started. Suppose this is your molecule, okay? So I'll tell you what tool we'll be using in Metal Studio. See, cast up is for the uh, periodic system, okay? Uh, and that won't allow us to do this molecular calculation there. But demol3 allow us to do the molecular calculation, so we'll use demol3 tool here. Okay, so this is your molecule, suppose, just assume. Now you can go to the, uh, this is the demol tool, okay, demol3. So you can see demol3 tool. Click here, go to the calculation. Now the first step will be geometry optimization followed by frequency calculation and then we'll do the orbital calculation along with that okay and in that uh, analysis wing then we can see that the molecular orbitals now in the setup window we have to select the geometry optimization in the more uh, we can get the fine no need to change anything here other things will be same now the quality will be fine here that is the best available here now in the functional you can choose any functional you can this is the LDA, GGA, and B3 lip, meta corrected GGA. Okay, so local density approximation and this uh, gradient uh, approximation methods. Now these are okay. If you want to, the best method is meta corrected GGA. Okay, generalized gradient method. And B3 lip is also popular. So you can use B3 lip if you want. Whatever method you want to use, that's depending on you or you can just follow the literature and uh, the PV, PV sol, PV sol is the a good one as compared to others. So if you want to you just stick to the beta lip you can just use beta lip okay and nothing to change here. Now go to the electronics here you just select fine everywhere and the basis set here the basis set uh, we can use whatever we want the DNP plus so DNP plus is the best one available here so you can choose anything whatever you want suppose you want to use best one you can it will take more time and if you want to use DND whatever you want to use just it depends on you just select any basis set and no need to change anything here and the cutoff you just get fine if you want to use solvation model means you know, you want to put uh, your model in some solvent kind of stuff then you can click here the solvation model otherwise you can remove that also so here no need to change anything orbital cutoff will be same so if you are using solvation model in that case you have to select the solvent from here so here there is a list of solvents okay you can select whatever solvent you want to select okay that will use this cosmo model so if you want to do in the uh, specific solvent medium then you select otherwise you remove okay that depends on you now in properties window you have to select the frequency calculation and orbital calculation and geometry optimization is already going on so these two you need to select okay and then go to the job control and start the calculation done the calculation once this calculation is done geometry optimization and the frequency calculation along with orbital once it is done then again go to this uh, demo 3 tool now go to the analysis now here uh, you, we are interested in the homonomo that uh, so go to the orbitals we have selected the orbitals right here we have selected the orbitals now if you are interested in just the homonomo you can just uh, drag it down and you can slowly go up you will see the frontier demos there that will be here somewhere in the mid
So you can see that homo homonomy is here, right? Suppose you want to project the homo, just click on the homo and you have to tick here on the view the isosurface and this is your molecule. Now import. Once you have imported, you can see this. Right? And this is your homo. Okay. Now if you want to save this picture, go to the file menu, go to the export and click on the dot bmp. Okay. So now picture will be saved. Or other way is just simply you click on the screen, copy and suppose this is the ppt here, you paste it. It will take some time because this is a high quality picture. quality is very high that's why it's not able to do it otherwise generally it allows us to you know copy the structure from the screen and paste it here I will show you that also because here it is telling that running could not be performed because the size is huge okay uh, let's leave that uh, okay so that BMP format you can take the picture and now you just click on these dumbbells and delete. Similarly, you just click on the home Lumo and import. So now you can see the home Lumo also, right? So this is the way to get the home Lumo in the Metal Studio using Demo 3. And so this is just the home Lumo, right? There are other MOs also. Uh, below Homo, there will be MOs. So you can see here. These are the energetics, right? In higher energy. So this is homo minus homo, homo minus one, homo minus two, homo minus three. It like it goes like that, okay? And this is the other MOS below homo. So whatever MOS you want to generate, you can just select that. Generally, it allows only for homo lumo, not other not other MOS. What I can see here. So it allows to uh, visualize the homo lumo here, okay? And how to find out the gap, like homo lumo gap, right? So there are two ways. One way is here, you can see this is the energy in H3. This is the energy of lumo, this is energy of homo. So you, you can subtract the energy of lumo, like lumo minus homo will give you the homo lumo gap, right? So generally homo lumo gap will talk about the, you know, uh, suppose you get the homo lumo gap is 2 EV okay means that much energy you can require to jump electron from homo to lumo or in uh, other way if you see if you convert this energy to EV in uh, nanometers uh, so whatever uh, energy it is uh, like uh, wavelength is coming so in the absorption spectra in the UV spectra you can see a roughly you know a strong absorption in that range okay so that source you kind of you know this will help in the predicting or explaining that UV spectra where you have a absor absorption around there so generally we know that the FT calculation underestimates the gap right so it may not be exactly true but it will guide you if you are using better functional yeah sure you'll be getting a good uh, reasonable amount of uh, gap and that will be comparable with the experimental result and in that case that will uh, talk about that absorption uh, suppose the gap is to, to uh, uh, EV and I told you so convert into the nanometers okay that will give you the wavelength Means energy to wavelength you can convert using that a formula is there E is equal to H new right using that you can convert manually if you want otherwise you can use some online tools and from there you can easily I get some uh, wavelength means maximum absorbance or maximum ab uh, absorption will be there in the absorption uh, spectra in the UV spectra okay so that is the significance thank you for watching the video if you have any doubt you can put in the comment section